The Force Unleashed is the new computer game from LucasArts. Uh, it's set in a, a period of Star Wars history that we've never seen before, which makes it exciting, as well as being a fantastic game. Uh, it's also a novelisation. It's the first novelisation we've had of a LucasArts computer game, apart from various tie-ins like the books by Karen Travis. It's also a graphic novel. Um, so it's a, a multifaceted project. One of the things that led me to taking this project was um, the sort of catchy description of it being episode 3.5. It was a story that George was very closely involved in. Uh, it, it was an area that had never been explored before and it deals with uh, a detail we've known nothing about before which is Darth Vader's secret apprentice. It, it illuminates not just Darth Vader's character but the characters of those we know from episodes in 4, 5 and 6 and the events that follow. It's a pivotal moment in Darth Vader's history and the develop his development as a character. The emphasis in this novel is of course on the dark side and the followers of the dark side and the Jedi movement is of course the enemy of the dark side so it's interesting to portray Jedis as bad guys, as, as the survivors of a, a decadent um, religious movement that uh, nearly brought about the, the, the stagnation of the galaxy X years before. The Jedi are very vulnerable at this point in history because there's only a few left. There's only a handful survived Order 66 and they've been hunted down in the years leading up to the Force Unleashed. So they're naturally vulnerable, they're, they're reviled by the Emperor and his followers. Um, it's very much a David versus Goliath situation. I'm sure that Star Wars fans will be as excited and as thrilled as I am by the story of the Force Unleashed, whether they're playing the game, whether they're reading the graphic novel or reading the novel that I've written. I'm sure they'll be as captivated by the story as I was when I first read the script. This is a pivotal moment in Star Wars history, uh, wonderfully told, and I think the moments of revelation that are in there will capture anybody who's interested. The character I enjoyed the most exploring was, was that of Juno Eclipse. Uh, the, the game is very much a testosterone fueled orgy of dark side violence and, uh, and sword play. Uh, in the book I wanted to explore the character of Juno, the, the sort of the feminine side of the story if you like, in much more detail in order to bring out that, that romantic storyline which is, which is in a way I think the key to the to the, both the game and the novel. Given that it is actually also a game about swordplay and, and the role of the Sith in, in the Force, there was a lot of opportunity there to explore the background and uh, sword fighting techniques. And this is a student of the dark side, a student of, of, uh, of weaponry and swordplay. It's very much his life. So exploring his character via what he knows about the Force and via what he knows about combat, that was a lot of fun to do. In the game, you get to do it in, in the book you get to experience him thinking about it. And I think that adds a, an interesting dimension to his character too. The story of the Force Unleashed sheds new light on the entire saga today. It uh, contains key details that will force you to re-examine Darth Vader and the, the events leading up to Episode 4, A New Hope. Everyone who has any interest in the Star Wars universe, even if they've just seen A New Hope, should read this book to see what happened beforehand, what led to that, and uh, how the characters evolve from the Force Unleashed to the stories we have.